All right, welcome back, friends, to uh, building the Alpha Dory. Uh, last video, I was about to uh, try to um, fold up the old saw blade that I took off the uh, bandsaw, and as I uh, tried to pause the video camera, I uh, hit the um, hit the stop button by mistake. So anyway, the uh, to uh, to roll up the blade, you just take one hand and twist it till it starts to. There you go, and then it uh, stores a lot easier in the small in the smaller package. So, yeah, we can finish uh, getting this bandsaw back together. First thing to do is get this blade on. So I want to put it past the... Uh, The driving wheel and then I can get it into the slots oh. oops looks like I didn't get it past the driving wheel fully it's alright though it's still lined up pretty good. Alright. Okay, so Alright, so the next thing I need to do is start leveling out. That's what was wrong. The, um, so there's a, there's a screw on the top. The screw was, I guess, had some tension on it. And you can see the screw. adjust the tension on that wheel. You can see the wheel is uh, is sort of suspended on these rods here. So let me see if I can hang the light here. Okay. So the wheel rides up and down the screw is what adjusts it, so. All right, so I got the, blade on there. Blades on the bottom wheel. If I can get it on the top wheel. Okay, it's on the top wheel. Now I'll use the screw in the back. There's a screw behind here. And what that does is it screws. See there's that pivot? There's a, uh, a pivot right there, and that this screw will push that pivot out. 
So I'll straighten this wheel up. And that's actually how you steer the, uh, the bandsaw. Um, and keep it on the, uh, keep it on the wheels is by adjusting that screw. That's what, uh, what steers the saw. So uh, it looks like that well, wheel needs to come back a little bit. Okay. So it seems to be uh, running pretty okay at the moment. It's not tensioned yet. So when it tensions, it's probably gonna... Probably gonna change the run of the blade a little bit. So tightening in on this back, on this screw in the back will make the uh, blade ride further back on the wheels. Loosening up on the screw that's behind here will make the blade ride forward on the wheels and eventually fall off the front. All right, so now I'm gonna tension the blade by tensioning this spring. It's gonna pull up on the uh, carriage that rides on these two rods. I'm compressing that spring. All right. So now, see how it runs. It's clearing. I've got a metal piece over here that's a guard and a guide, which is supposed to, in an emergency, it's supposed to keep the blade on the uh, saw, keep it from jumping off the wheels. Um, and I'm clearing that guide. I'm right about in the center of that guide. You can see the, you don't want the, there's so many points of contact on the, on these saws where you got to make sure that the blade's clearing everything because you don't want the saw rubbing up against this metal because it'll dull your teeth in an instant. Okay, now I can, uh, I, I, this is where I want the blade to ride. Actually, I might even uh, want it riding a tiny bit further back. So let's see what that does. Yeah, that moved it back a little bit. All right, so now I can see where the blade's riding, and now I can tighten up these uh, the little guides here. I can move this wheel forward a tiny bit so that the it's almost touching the back edge of the saw. You can see how this when the saw pressurizes that wheel, the wheel will rotate this little bearing. So I'll do that, make that adjustment first.
Now I'll move the two side bearing blocks. These were the ones that we um, that we uh, cleaned up on the uh, grinder on the grinding wheel. I'll move those until they're almost pinching the blade, but not quite. You want to give the blade a little bit of room to run. There we go. Tighten down on those to keep them from moving. Now, we'll go underneath here. Okay, and uh, so what we'll do is we'll just ever so gently pinch those little bearing blocks in from either side and tighten up the set screws on those. So it's holding the blade side to side under the table. Okay, and then last but not least, I'll bring this little guide pulley forward until it just comes in contact with the blade. And then I'll try and get the, uh, try and get the, um, screwdriver up in there to, yeah, there it is, to tighten that set screw up. It's really at an odd angle here. Oh, it did it. Got in there even though the turning a slotted screw out from a angle because this uh, this bolt here on the uh, this is the the uh, cant the um, you, know, you can set an angle on the table and cut an angled cut but this bolt for the it holds the table to the camping mechanism is right in the way anyhow yeah so I'll uh, <clears throat> I'll close up the doors and maybe we'll uh, see if it's ready to see how it cuts right. Let me brush out a little bit of the This is uh, re re replacing the uh, saw blade on a Dunlap fan saw. Okay, now for the moments of truth.
this. <laughs> like butter. Wow. Oh, that was awesome. Okay, so check out. Check out this cut. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Compare it. Compare it to, to this cut from the previous. <laughs> Compare it to this cut. <laughs> I mean, it's like, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's just crazy. This was like, this was all over the place, and this cut just. I, you know, follows the line perfectly, so, well, that was well worth doing. Um, so now I've got the wide blade on there, and uh, I really think it's going to be an issue cutting some of the tighter curves, but I've got the frames all cut out anyhow, so that's done. The, uh, the next thing I'll probably be cutting out, well, uh, I'll, I'll have to be doing the, uh, transom me. That'll probably take some curves. So I may end up swapping this blade out for the uh, the thin blade, but the next big rounded cut I'm going to do is the top of the transom and the transom me. So, but that's a couple weeks away anyhow, so I'll leave this blade in until uh, until I need the ability to cut more curve. But oh yeah, that, that cut like butter, went right through that oak. Gorgeous chunk of oak too, from uh, the boys out in Granby at Acorn to Arabella. So, <clears throat> let's see. Yeah, now the next thing is to, uh, to re-saw this down to uh, close to two inches. And I could almost, honestly, with this new blade, I could almost do it in the bandsaw, but I'll probably, uh, I'll probably do it on the table saw anyway. But, uh, yeah, that, uh, that's good. So, anyway, hey, thanks for uh, stopping by the shop. And uh, if you guys have any questions or comments or critiques, Feel free to leave them in the um, in the comments section, and I'll try to address them in a future video. Thanks for watching. Building the Chamberlain Alpha Dory. <laughs>